So this is my video on three really useful verbs in Spanish. Ir, to go, tener, to have, and ser, to be. And ser here is the verb when it's to do with permanence and also time. And we're going to have a look at them in the present tense. First of all, we're going to have a look at subject pronouns, because unlike other languages, in Spanish you don't, need, you don't normally put the subject pronouns, unless, of course, you can't tell who's doing the action. So, for example, if it's he or it's a she or it's it we're talking about. Or if you want to emphasise something, so um, you say, I, I'm going to do something and you, you're going to do this. So that might be a way when you em emphasise things. But they do exist. So, yo is I. Tu is you, singular. El, he. Ella, she. Ello, it. Usted, which is you, formal singular. Nosotros, if it's masculine um, or masculine or mixed. Or nosotras, if it's just feminine, that's we. Vosotros, if it's masculine or mixed. Or vosotras, if it's just feminine. Ellos, for they, when it's masculine plural and it's mixed. Or ellas, when it's feminine plural. And the final one, ustedes, which is you, formal plural. Now, I don't often teach the usted and ustedes forms, but I put them on here so that you know that they exist. Okay. So, I've grouped these sections together because when you're doing the verbs, you'll find when we do them in a minute, um, is that they take the same ending. So when we have a look at the verb to go, va is he goes, she goes, it goes, and you formal singular go. So this is where you might put the pronoun at the beginning to, to emphasize who's doing the action. Because if you just put va, you may not know whether it's he or she or it or you formal. And similarly for the they and the ustedes forms, ellos, ellas, and ustedes, they also take the same part of the verb. So in this case, it would be van for all of those. And again, you might put the pronoun before to emphasize who's doing it or to make it less ambiguous. Okay, so let's have a look at these verbs now then. So ir um, goes voy, I go, and it also can mean I am going. Vas, you go, or are, you are going. Va, and this is where we said it means lots of things. He, she, it goes, is going or you formal singular, go or are going, so that's the usted form. Vamos, we go or are going. Vais, you go or are going, so that's the plural you. So the vas is the singular you, vice is the plural you, and those are both the informal ones. And then van, they go or going, or you formal plural go or are going. Okay. Now, if you're getting confused with all the formal ones, then just forget those ones for the moment and just stick to the main ones because you probably won't need to use uh, formal letters for a little while. Right, let's have a go some practice then. Have a pause now, see if you can memorise it, and then we'll have some practice when you're ready. OK, practice uno. Pon las frases en inglés. Bueno, hay seis en total. Bueno, entonces, ¿cómo se dice en inglés vamos? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés van? ¿Cómo se dice en inglés va? And you may have more than one answer for some of these. Pause it now, have a go, and then we'll go through the answers. Bueno, entonces, número uno, we go. Número dos, they go, or you formal plural go. Remember, these can also mean are going. So we go, are going, they go, are going. I haven't put those ones here, but that's what they could mean as well. Tres, she, he, it goes, you formal go, singular. Cuatro, I go, or I'm going. Cinco, you go plural, or are going, and says you go singular, or are going. Remember, these last two are the informal forms. Okay, bien. Some more practice then. Más práctica. Práctica dos. Termina las frases con el verbo ir. So I've given you seven pronouns. What I want you to do is to put the right part of the verb that would go with these ones using the verb ir. So pause it now. If you're not sure, rewind it all the way back, have a go at the others again, and then come back to this term of practice. Bueno, okay, número uno, va. Now I've deliberately not put the pronoun, okay, because we wouldn't necessarily put it unless, of course, we're not sure who's doing the action. So va, vamos, van, vas, vais, va. Voy. 
Now, this verb in particular, and I didn't mention it before, is you can pronounce it as a V or as a B. So it could be va or va. Vamos or vamos. Van or van. Vas or vas. Vice or vice. Va or va. Voy or boy. Okay? It's a very soft B, but you can pronounce it either way. Okay, so if you're using Educanon, this is where you'll see some extra questions coming up to test your knowledge. Bueno, okay, vamos a ver el verbo ser, to be. So this is the verb that we use for things that are permanent, describe permanence, and also time, which is the slight exception. If you want to know more about, more about ser and estar, have a look at my, my video on those. So the, the verb goes, soy, I am, eres, you are, es, he, she, it, is, or you, formal singular, are, somos, we are, sois, you are, plural. So remember, this one here is the you, singular, informal this one's the you plural informal sois son they or you formal plural are okay then okay again let's pause it now um have a little think have try and memorize these and then we'll have some practice in a minute when you're ready okay ponas frases ingles okay i say in total como se dice en ingles somos como se dice en ingles son Haz una pausa y luego corregimos. Ok, so número uno, we are. Número dos, they are or you formal plural are. Tres, he, she, it is or you are formal singular. Soy, I am. Cinco, sois, you are plural. Seis, you are singular. And both these last two are the informal forms. Okay, más práctica. Termina las frases con el verbo ser. So just like before, I've given you the pronoun. You put the right part of the verb that goes with it. Using the verb ser. Okay, bien. Oh, sorry, there's a seventh one there. Apologize. Bien, okay. Número uno. Es, dos, somos, tres, son, cuatro, eres, cinco, sois, seis, es, siete, soy. Okay, now again I haven't put the pronouns here because we know who's doing the action here, but again you put the pronouns if you weren't sure in a particular sentence. Bien, okay, so if you're using Educanon this is where you'd get some extra questions. Okay, bien. So let's have a look at the verb tener, to have, which is a radical changing verb. If you want to look at more, have a look at my video on radical changings. Otherwise, let's just concentrate on this for the moment. Tengo, I have. Tienes, you have. Tiene, meaning he, she, it has, or you, formal singular, have. Tenemos, we have. Tenéis, you have, plural. And remember, tienes and tenéis are the informal forms. This one's singular, you. This one's plural, you. And tienen they have or you formal plural have. Okay, again, pause it now, have a go at memorizing it and then we'll have some practice when you're ready. Bueno, okay, práctica número uno. Pon las frases en inglés. Okay, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Tienes. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Tiene. Haz una pausa y luego corregimos. Bueno, okay, número uno, you have singular. Número dos, he, she, it has, or you, formal, have, singular. Tenéis, you have, plural. Tengo, I have. Tenemos, we have. He says, they have, or you have, plural, formal. Okay. Luego, práctica dos, termina las frases con el verbo tener. Okay. Y tienes los pronombres. Given 
the answer to the first one. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, pause it now, have a go, see if you can remember what the um, endings are or what the parts of the verb are that go with these. Bien, number uno. Tengo, if you didn't see it. Dos. Tiene. Tres. Tiene, as well. So here, again, if you're in a sentence, you might want to put the usted or the L to make it less vague about who you're talking. Nosotros tenemos tú tienes. Remember, this is the you in form or singular. Y ellos tienen. Okay, bien. Now, if you need to revise it in any of this, again, rewind it back and have another go. Um, if you're watching in Educanon, this is where you get some extra practice of the verb tener and then some other verbs. And then all the ver three verbs that we've done so far, some extra practice with those as well.